I'm live. Dun dun dun. All right, we're live on both. Welcome back to our Philbot Live demos. Today we're playing with a new, new polymer. Well, same polymer, it's PLA. We're playing with a new uh, form of the polymer. And this is really important because this allows for customers to make custom filaments with finer powders. So carbon fiber, metal, really if you have a small powder and you want to infuse it into plastic, we are working on a process to allow you to do that with our systems. Of course, the jar is way over there. So this is pulverized PLA powder. All it is is PLA pellets that are chopped up into a finer granular. And what that allows is for the additives that you mix into this to stay mixed in, stay homogenous inside the hopper. You can see Josh moving the pellets around. That's because the powder likes to compact. One thing we're finding and it kind of bridges, I guess. So we got to like shake it and you'll see Josh kind of making sure it's feeding in. So we have the milled material and then we have the powders. These are just some powders we had on the shelf. Um, copper. So this is Unfortunately, the copper like clings to the bottle, so you can't really see inside. But this is copper powder. We have a nickel-silver mixture of powder. That's a good shot. So that's, that's pretty heavy. Can you see it? Why? Oh, sorry. Hogging the camera on one side. We have brass powder, we have wood powder, which is, is interesting. Uh, aluminum, which also clings to the side of the, the jar, and bronze powder. So the nice thing about having this, this PLA, again, is that we can mix in these powders at different uh, percentages and create a custom material. Uh, right now we are running PLA, this material, with 70, oh, 25% of aluminum powder and creating a aluminum PLA infusion. infusion. Yeah. Oh, I am off screen. Oh, bad hair day on this side. I'm off screen over here. Who put the camera this close? <laughs> uh, you can see that the system is making filament like normal. Comes out of the nozzle, goes through the air path, cools down, and then onto the spooler. Uh, the filament is a little more rough than normal. We're still kind of playing with settings. I mean, we got this material this week and uh, we're gonna be playing with it, playing with different additives, the ones I laid out over here and printing and seeing what happens with different mixture rates. Yeah, that's the video. Are there any uh, questions from the audience? Anything we should add? No. Uh, what are some materials that customers have made, have infused? We have a lot. There's a college uh, infusing a gel with our systems into a plastic so they could 3D print coral reefs. Well, structures that coral would attach to out of you know, water safe uh, plastic. We've done, yes. Um, with this, I think we're going to be like a plus or minus 0.1. Right now, we have settings dialed in yet. Yeah, which is pretty high. Um, normally it's that plus or minus 0 0.05, but I mean, we are extruding a metal with a PLA, so there's, uh, there's some issues. Again, we don't really have all of our speeds and feeds correct right now. Also the EX6. Oh, yeah. So right now we're doing this on the EX2. EX2. But our new system that we launched a few weeks ago, I think it was the week before Thanksgiving. Well, a few weeks ago. Uh, that system has uh, more feed zones, longer screw, and we haven't tested the mixtures on that system yet. But we, uh, well, Josh is assuming and guessing that we are gonna have a better output. 
and we should. A lot more power uh, behind that screw. More compression. More compression, more mixing. So it'll be even better. So that'll be our next thing, but for right now, we wanted to try it on the EX2. We have a lot more EX2s out in the world right now, and this is gonna be a great option for customers who wanna make custom polymers. Um, why would you want custom polymers, first of all? Um, one is because plastics don't do everything, right? So you need additives to put into it. For example, there's a carbon fiber infused uh, filament out in the market, which creates a more stiff plastic. So if you need a part that has no flex, something that uh, is either holding a bearing or a mechanical feature that you need really strong, you would want to use that. Uh, there's additives that you can put into plastics that make the plastic slipperier. So if you have a wear surface on a plastic and you, you need it to slide and last long and not be abrasion resistant, you would use that lubricating additive, add it to the system, make the filament and 3D print the parts. Um, we've had a customer infuse THC into filament um, to create 3D printed edibles. We've had somebody ask us about gunpowder in filament. We wouldn't recommend that uh, because we're heating up gunpowder when it goes through the system. What, don't do that. Uh, what else do we have? Ceramics. There's some really cool filaments out there that have a ceramic infused. It's actually limestone uh, that they put into it and it creates a, like a stone texture when you're 3D printing. Oh, the, the wood one, which is, this is kind of the one I want to try next. It's like a very fine wood powder. I mean, it's sawdust, right? It's probably finer than sawdust. Uh, but if we infuse that into PLA, we'll have wood powder. Um, what else? Yeah, infusing and making filament from non-polymer based materials. Cool. All right, as always, if you have any questions, give us a call, send us an email, and we'd be happy to help. Thanks.